Hey guys, welcome back. So today is going to be an exciting day for me. I have all something that I've been waiting to do for such a long while and that is pot up my Pylea Peperomoides, otherwise known as the Chinese money plant. I'm not going to be doing it in this vlog, I'm going to be doing a whole separate video on me doing that but I wanted to bring you along on my day it is currently quarter past nine I have been up since half seven originally when I woke up at half seven I was contemplating should I go back to sleep but then I got through my like text and email from Dunelm to say your order is ready to collect however they sent this to me before the shop actually opened but also whilst parents were still home and they don't know I have plants. My nana has ended up finding out I have plants just because I kind of needed to take them with me just so that I could make sure that they were all right and they were going to survive the week, you know? But they don't know and so it was important for me to try and hide the fact that I was buying a plant and pot. I was also, when I was ordering it and like the confirmation email came through, it said it should be ready to collect from 12 and I was thinking oh my god they're gonna find out about the plants and then it came through this morning at like 20 to 8 and then I've just been sat in bed doing nothing or playing games on my iPad you know the classics I haven't been on social media which is a good thing However, I have obviously looked at at a screen, but still, I haven't looked at social media yet. But that is it. I do need to get on with some assignments because Tuesday through to Friday this week is going to be hectic because I have my sister. So, I need to try and get on with assignments and just that is my main thing. I don't know whether it's because it's absolutely bright sunshine outside but I seem to be in a positive mood or maybe it's just the fact that I get to pot up my plant and so I am going to need to head to B&M to buy the soil. Now when I went in there the other week when it was really really windy they didn't have the house plant soil inside they had other like composts and soils but they didn't have the house plant one so I don't know whether my B&M sells it I'm gonna check outside because it's not windy so the doors will be open to go into like the garden area so I will look but I think I'm gonna have to go with something else and just hope my best and I've sort of done a little bit of looking and you can use it it's not 100% the greatest like but you can still get by and so I'm hoping that I will be okay like mm, okay I currently have a stack of books that I need to put back in my drawer that you can't see and I have more books that I need to somehow fit into my wardrobe not my wardrobe my bookcase however my friends call it a wardrobe but it's not it's a bookcase with doors my plant might be potted up by this point by the time i come back a bot has plant time i've literally just gotten back from buying stuff i ended up going in more shops than i planned so it's currently 10 past 11 obviously the last time i talked to you it was like quarter past nine so it's been two hours oh my god it's been two hours it's oh my god okay remember it's only like a 15 minute walk there and it probably took me 20 minutes back i don't know i don't know how much buying house plant soil like eight liters of soil weighed me down now <clears throat> when i say i went into multiple shops I mean, I went into B&M, Lidl, and also Pound Stretcher. So yeah, I've been in a lot of shops. Actually, I've also been in Dunelm. So it went Dunelm, B&M, Lidl, Pound Stretcher. 
So, four shops. I only had to go into that fourth shop out of necessity, you know? But, oh, from B&M I got the Westland houseplant soil, like houseplant potting mix. It's a specialist blend. It says it's specially blended mix for potting or repotting most indoor plants, including cacti and bottle gardens. This open, free draining mix promotes healthier growth and greener leaves for an outstanding indoor garden. And yeah. It contains unique ceramics granules for optimum water and nutrient availability. Added perlite for airflow and drainage resulting in healthier root development. Oh, there's perlite in it. It doesn't say that on the front. It says, how does ceramics work? It granules absorb water and release water to create the perfect climate. Fair enough. <clears throat> Not suitable for error caches in brackets lime heating plants store in a dry frost free place away from weed killers and other garden chemicals reseal bag after use well i'll be nicking some pegs and i'll be sticking it in my wardrobe because i don't have any other like it's not a resealable bag which in a way, I think it should be. But that was three ninety nine. All the stuff I bought smells good. Yes, I bought food. But <clears throat> this is the lamp pot that I got. It's like I said, it's from Dunelm. It's called the Lisbon Planter. It's thirteen point five centimeters. Let's peel off this sticker that says my order. <clears throat> when i will be um like cleaning it out first because you know it could be a little dirty but nice it's like a i believe it's like ceramic i could have bought a one pound like planter from tesco that was more of a geometric shame shape but it was plastic this is heavier like the plastic one in Tesco was well light so yeah now this doesn't have drainage holes which is why I ended up having to go into pound stretcher so obviously nice white pot I wanted something plain and simple that I wasn't going to regret you know so I had to go into pound stretcher to get a plant pot with drainage holes you there wasn't like any like black ones or anything so because and the reason why i say that is because if there was a black one i'd have probably gone for that because it would have been a bit of a cleaner look however this plant this pot basically fits perfectly there's like a tiny gap at the bottom where it's not quite touching the bottom but that's all right and what i'd do is i'd water the plant and then after like a few hours i'd take this bit out and any excess like i'd pour down the tap like pour down the sink just so that it's not soaking it's not constantly in water if that makes sense so there was that now the reason why i went and i obviously only went out for plant stuff so you're probably thinking well why did you go into Lidl well i went into Lidl because Lidl do have some planting stuff and I thought oh could they have pots the answer was no but obviously as you walk into Lidl you see the bakery so I currently have a pan of chocolate a white chocolate chip cookie one of the margarita pizza bits like things and a cheesy topped roll mm -hmm. I haven't eaten today so I think that so I think that probably had an influence in the bakery enticing me and obviously it's literally right there as you walk in. Good marketing little good marketing. And whilst I was there I saw some Hershey's. 
sprinkles and cream birthday cake like chocolate now i've had the cookies and cream one and i will agree with with a lot of people it does taste chemically but i saw this and thought let's try this why not i have no clue how much it costs i just sort of picked up and bought it but i ended up spending eight pounds in little this wasn't the reason why i will say that and then now obviously little have their middle aisles and the middle aisles was where I was looking for plant pots and then I spotted some books yeah little had some books they had like an odd jumble there was a lot of 50 shades of grey in there like there wasn't many but there was like the majority was 50 shades of grey books but I picked up two I picked up never saw it coming by Linwood Barclay or Barclay and Headhunters by Joe Nesbo. The Joe Nesbo one was what caught my eye first because I know that Joe Nesbo is like more of, of that like thriller type thing. So with Headhunters by Joe Nesbo, it says <clears throat> Roger Brown has it all. Clever and wealthy, he's at the very top of his game and if his job as a headhunter ever gets dull, he has his sideline as an art thief to keep him busy. At a gallery opening, his wife introduces him to Klaus Grieve. I could be pronouncing that incorrectly. It's C-L-A-S. Not only is Grieve the perfect can candidate for a position that Brown is recruiting for, he is also in possession of one of the most sought after paintings in modern art history. Roger sees his chance to become rich beyond his wildest dreams and starts planning his biggest, th biggest theft ever, but he soon runs into trouble and it's not long before the hunter becomes the hunted. It just sounds fun. It's not like my number one like Joan Nesbo book that I would buy, but I saw Joan Nesbo and I wanted to read some of her work and apparently it's now a major motion picture probably not on Netflix or Amazon Prime or Disney Plus and the Never Saw It Coming by Linwood Barclay says Keisha Kalen I think I've pronounced it correctly or is a psychic so she says the truth is she watches the news for stories of missing family members, gives it a few days, then tells these family she's had a vision. She may be able to help. And by the way, she charges for the service and likes to see the money up front. Keisha's latest mark is the man whose wife disappeared a week ago. She's seen him on TV pleading for his wife to come home or for whoever took her to let her go. So she pays him a visit. The trouble is, her vision just, so happen, just happens to be close enough to the truth that it leaves the man rattled, and it may very well leave Keisha dead. So from the sounds of it, the man's killed his wife, or has caused his wife to disappear, and but he's still out, like, publicly, like, pleading for her to be found as, like, a ruse. That's my like thoughts on what it is. But now I'm going to eat the pan of chocolate and get to planting. Ooh, exciting. Okay, so I'm just about to edit this video that you've just seen and I realized that I filmed no footage for like what I did the rest of the day. I planted the plant. I've since changed it out of that pot and put it back into the glass jar it was in but with soil this time instead of water because I feel like it it wasn't doing well it wasn't sprouting new growth like it used to and 
I just had one leaf that was like really limp and wasn't like sturdy like the others which is unusual for the plant so I changed it back into the pot back into the glass jar because the glass jar doesn't have drainage I am just gonna stick like a tiny bit of water in every now when it needs like water so that the roots aren't sitting in soil I also think I snapped half of its roots off when taking it out of the pot like I was trying to do it so gentle that I snapped the roots so I don't think the roots were liking the pot so I think I need to let it grow more before putting it back into a pot but I didn't I don't think I did anything this day mainly because I haven't done any college work so I'm gonna say I haven't done anything that day I was more just obsessed with looking at my plant my, my mum does now know I have a house plant though so that's something at least I'm not having to hide like a house plant but and she wasn't fussed by it either which kind of surprised me but anyway I'm gonna let that plant grow a bit more get some more leaves become a little bit more established before putting it back into the big pot i put the roots that i broke off a bit back into the big pot in hopes that maybe they'll like come decompose and they'll just go into the soil and they'll act like a natural fertilizer at some point even though it's a new soil anyway so it's gonna have fertilizer but you know what i mean like it's gonna have all the nutrients but that is like all i did this day i just focused on plants i cannot wait to pop my snake plant though but what i think i'm going to do with that is get one of those you know like biodegradable like things and plant it in that before then upgrading it to a bigger pot just so that i don't have that same problem but anyway if you guys enjoyed don't forget to watch another one of my videos and i will see you guys in my next trade in my next video bye guys